Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Pitovich here. Boy, what a difference 24 hours makes. We had really cold conditions yesterday and this morning and tonight feels like the sauna is on. Let me show you these temperatures. 76 degrees right now. It's 9.35 as I'm doing this and that's the warmest we've been all day. It was really chilly through about the middle of the day and we really saw temperatures kind of surge with this warm front and we're seeing the dew points surge as well. You can see dew points in the 50s and 60s. Now, this is all ahead of this big storm system which is heading our way massive severe weather ongoing across uh, Mississippi into Alabama tonight, uh, Tennessee, even western Georgia. Tomorrow, that risk moves into the Carolinas, but it's much, much lower. So we're not seeing anything remotely close to what we're seeing to the west. But there's still a low end risk for severe storms. So let me show you what those storms are doing right now. There they are. You can see them marching slowly to the east. It's a squall line, but within that squall line, you can see we've got several tornado warnings. We've seen a ton of tornado warnings today um, and some really strong winds ahead of it. This is what's fascinating to me. We're getting wind damage reports and wind gusts to 40, 50 miles per hour way ahead of the line. So look at this. These reports are all coming before the line even gets there. So there's a really strong, what we call low level jet coming in from the south. That wind is gonna be over us tonight. And that has really prompted some of the high wind warnings and wind advisories in effect. You could see the winds overnight. So this is without any storms, just the southerly flow, that low level jet cranking up, gust overnight to 30, 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour. Now, as the front gets here tomorrow, any thunderstorm or shower can mix some of those strong winds down to the surface as the system pushes off to the east, a very breezy Thursday until that front gets through here and then it starts to calm down going in to Friday morning. So for that reason, we've got high wind warnings in the mountains, wind advisories. These will be in effect through tomorrow. So here's, here's a look, excuse me, just ate some pretzels, not a good idea. Um, there's the line arriving again, maybe 9, 10, 11 in the morning. It could perk back up to the east and then along the cold front, we might see a couple showers and storms try to flare up, which is something I'm watching carefully. That thunderstorm fuel is the one thing that seems to be lacking. There's some in the morning, not a ton. As we go into the afternoon, it starts to go back up around four o'clock. The question is, where's the front? Most of the big storms will be here, but I think the cold front's here. So there could be some new isolated thunderstorms that develop uh, maybe just behind, I'm gonna move my camera here just a minute, just uh, behind the main line and maybe ahead of the front. So that's, that's a little trend we're gonna have to watch. And I'll show you what this looks like on the short range feature cast. I'm gonna show you the high resolution rapid refresh. It shows the southerly winds cranking up tonight. You could see some of the rain moves into the mountains around 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Here comes that line, it moves into the Piedmont. Likely some very gusty winds around 9 a.m., between nine and 10. But watch this, the main line moves through pushes off to the east. Look what's happening behind. So the main cold front is probably here. Got to watch these storms. Is there enough instability for those to perk up? Maybe, maybe not. These are likely going to start perking back up because look at the time at the top there. It's around noon. So we're starting to see warmer temperatures move in and then you see those kind of get active. But look at this. I'm going to stop this around two o'clock. Really interesting to see some isolated cells here developing um, what is going to be a much warmer time of the day. So that bears watching, honestly, into the afternoon hours. Um, that's, that's the only little question mark I have about tomorrow, whether or not we're going to see that develop. So let's look at the, the, out, the um, outlook for tomorrow. The main risk, damaging straight line winds. Tornado risk is low. This could go up if we see a slower arrival of the showers and storms, or if we see more instability build across the region. So one of those ways we look at that, tornado parameter. Here's a look at the latest tornado parameter. Again, in the morning, nothing that jumps off the charts to you around noon, not too crazy. Off to the east, eh, starts to perk up a little bit there as we go into the afternoon, but all in all, that's not crazy high. Let's quickly look at those rotational tracks, kind of see, yeah, not much, not much, not much. Little bit there, but I'll be honest with you, that's nothing that's too crazy. So we go back to the timing of this. You're planning for tomorrow. Let me show you the future cast, or let me show you the forecast hour by hour as we go into tomorrow. So this really will help you kind of plan. When's the worst weather gonna be? Well, it's gonna be in the morning, right here. Look at this. Basically between 9 a.m. and I'd say noon, you have the worst weather, and it actually gets better in the afternoon, but look at the temperatures and the wind still going up. So we'll keep a close eye on this system tonight. I'm going to have an update coming up at 11 o'clock. I will do an update tomorrow morning. Uh, first thing when I get up, strong storm system to the west, thankfully weaker for us, but still something to keep an eye on as we go into your Thursday. Have a great night, everybody.